about to start. Uh, come to the top of the car. You don't know by the lot. You don't know what I decide. Can't leave without it. Can't leave without it. How can you stay for the wall? Chase out the deposit. Chase out the deposit. Money just stick with the boy. A lot of model bitches check for me. Nigga don't check for me unless you got checks for me. I kept a stick like a hobo, no checking me. <sighs> Let's do a room tour. Oh. Why the bathroom so dark? Oh. Bathroom. Y'all, yeah, it's just a little basic Marriott hotel room. It's in my um, luggage. If you give me a second, I'll give it to you or you can um, grab it. Is there a light? Okay. Then we have this mirror. Little mirror. Cute. What's in here? Oh, just a little closet. And then here is the bed. TV. And what is the view giving? We got a little Canadian flag. I mean, it's kind of twirled up, you know. But this is the view that we have. <laughs> I don't like how dark and dingy this room is. Huh? I feel like it's so dim and all the lights are on. Hey y'all, so welcome back to another vlog. I don't know if this will be another vlog or the same vlog, but maybe we're in Canada. We're specifically in Toronto. We're about to go to the Eaton Center. Easton Center Mall because we need to let the Tessie charge. One thing I'm learning is Tessas are cool and all, but it's annoying to wait for them to charge. So we're just gonna look around, shop around, see what we can find. This is still not our stop. We just ride in the elevator. But yeah, so we're gonna go in the mall, see if they have anything. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this quality. I've been using a new camera, a new lens this entire vlog video so let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below <laughs> y'all can hear me it's much later we're actually about to go get dinner we actually had a reservation at nothing and we overslept so we had to make a different basically like restaurant choice at first we were going to go to this place called black and blue which was like a steakhouse we overslept unfortunately we slept through the alarm and so we missed our first renovation our first reservation so we had to make another reservation well we didn't make another reservation but we had to find another restaurant so now we're headed to this place called joey's restaurant which is at the Eaton Center. Um, we looked online. Honestly, you guys, it's a Thursday, so we were very limited on like what was open. Um, so hopefully the food there is good because we were really excited for Black and Blue because we wanted to go to a steakhouse. I'm gonna bring you guys along with us to the restaurant. Um, hopefully they have good food, good drinks. I'm not really that hungry. I'm still kind of full from earlier when we ate, but I'm probably gonna get like a drink or two and maybe something small, like a dessert or something. We say you're waiting on the Uber. Honestly, you guys, where this hotel is is really weird. Like the address pulls you to the front of it, but really like where people pick you up is like the side. So it really doesn't make sense. But I'll see you guys once we get to the restaurant. Are you a waste man? <laughs> Why do you have that in your notes? <laughs> Wait, pull up your phone? Nah, Y'all, not him having that saved in his notes on his phone. I'm crying. He, he was waiting till he got here to say that. in the progress, money's not a hard check. Busy that a motherfucker, you know how my job get. Walking up the wrong tree, you know how the dogs get. Haven't fallen off yet. Come with a classic, they come around your state and say it's a sleeper. The ears are rare, the petty is rare. Watch your right for a feature. Deposit the money to Brenda Latina. Alinda Felicia, she gave me twice. I didn't even love her once. You know I'm a pleaser. 42 millimeter was made in Geneva. Yeah. Hey y'all, good morning. It is day two in Toronto. We just got up. Um, we're about well, we didn't just get up, but we've been up for a little minute because Eric is a, a morning person. <laughs> but to the left, babe. So we're actually about to walk and go get us some coffee. I really wanted to try a coffee shop out here. Um, so we're walking to this place called White Rabbit. And we're gonna grab some coffee. Hopefully the coffee is, is it raining? Oh no, they just cleaned in the windows. But yeah, so we're gonna walk to this place called White Rabbit. I'm so tired. 
Um, but we had a really good time last night. Like I was saying, the only thing I would say about the restaurant that I didn't like was the salmon. It just was like pretty bland. But everything else we had was bomb. Like the cauliflower blew my mind because I don't even like cauliflower. But that cauliflower was blessing. And then the drinks, amazing drinks. So good. Definitely recommend if you're in the Toronto area to go to Joey's or Joey. So, so good. Everyone's so nice here, which we love as well. All right, I will see you guys once we get to the coffee shop. McDonald's! Y'all, Eric was feeding for McDonald's earlier. Now he's talking about some, we went to the coffee shop. And me and Eric were talking about how comfortable it is out here. Like, like, I just feel like it's so many different types of people, so many different vibes. And I just love it here, y'all, honestly. Like, I just really love the vibes here. Look at me dead in my eyes, I know that you know that a nigga ain't lying Too much respect, all of my shorty BDs, they know not to try Too much respect, I used to hand out CDs before they were buy Well Alright y'all, so we couldn't find the other coffee shop So we came to this other one called Le Genie And of course we had to get a spread Eric is digging in already as y'all can see I'm waiting on my matcha Because I like to eat my pastry with my <laughs> drink Oh the inside has filling but yeah, so I got a vanilla croissant, we got a strawberry tart, and a demolished peach danish. That's cause the neck is a frank purr. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's 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 in the nines. Hey y'all. So we're back in the hotel, we got dressed, we had a good time at the coffee shop. We really loved um all the different pastries that we had. They were all like bomb and everything here is really fresh. One thing I'm realizing about Toronto, everyone, it's like a mixing pot. You see so many different types of people. Like, this is the first place I feel like I've came and I don't feel like a tourist or look like a tourist. I feel like it's very hard to tell who's a tourist and like who's actually from Canada. So, love that. But me and Eric um, just finished getting dressed. We're going to go to the premium outlets, the Toronto premium outlets. And I'm super excited because we went to the East Century Mall yesterday and I just wasn't impressed. One, it was so busy and hectic in there for like a thursday and for two it just i just wasn't seeing anything that like sparked my interest y'all i did these little quick little glue on <laughs> kiss lashes i'm gonna do my real like glue on lashes um probably tonight later on tonight or uh when we get to montreal this is like night and day y'all all of this stuff is my like just everywhere miscombobulated everywhere then we have eric they say opposites attract, so definitely opposites in that aspect. Well, come on, y'all. Let's go to the I hope I find something at the outlet. Yo. I'm making a change today. The liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I can't just be with you and only you. Yeah, I got one virtual, got one in that day. It's the only two. Man, how many times have I. Hey, y'all. So I wanted to check in because me and Eric just left the outlets and now we're at, um, I don't know where we're at. We're about to go eat at this place called Casa Madeira. They don't open until 5 and it's currently 4.35. So I guess we're just going to walk around and explore a little bit until they open. I'm super excited because this place has like really, really cute drinks. Like the drinks with the fire and like just really cool drinks, y'all. And the food has really good reviews. And actually, um, the restaurant we went to the other day, the girl recommended it to us. So I'm super excited. Um, Eric's paying to park right now. And then we're going to walk around and explore a little bit. I'm going to probably try to take a pic in this outfit. And... Yeah, then we're gonna grab something to eat. Then we're gonna go to a baseball game, y'all. Then we have reservations at the CN Tower. I'm super excited. So we have like an action packed rest of the day. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Mr. Genius Idiot. I love it, man. I love it, man. These days, I'm letting guy and a lot of things above me. The things I can't change are the reason you love me. Listen, you can hear them calling my name I'm all over the place, I can't sit in one place I'm not ashamed at all Still finding myself, let alone a soulmate, I'm just saying 
Feel like we one and the same Our relationship changed That or it never existed so we're back in the car. We just left the Blue Jays games. I could try to get a little bit of footage for y'all, but for real, for real, you're not supposed to film there. I'm surprised, honestly, that I can even take my big camera in there. Um, they didn't say anything to me, but it did say on their website like that you can't film, like you can take your um, camera for photos. Um, but me and Eric were just talking about how like, you know, in the DMV or like DC or Baltimore, especially like baby the pedestrians, are aggressive out there but here baby the pedestrians don't play okay they will walk out in the middle of the street they don't they do not care like um but yeah so we're about to go back to the hotel and we're gonna change really quickly and then we're gonna come back on this side to go to the CN Tower um so basically the CN Tower is like a really touristy thing to do everybody on TikTok said that you should do it we actually decided to do the dinner portion too which I'm kind of nervous about because the other day our server told us like that the dinner is overrated but I had already booked it and stuff like that. I'm not really starving but I think there they do have like a $75 per person minimum. So I'm going to have to order something and hopefully I can just like take it to go if I don't um, end up eating it because I'm still stuffed from Casa Madera. And Casa Madera y'all, bomb. If you go to eat anywhere in Toronto, definitely go to Casa Madero. I thought they were better than that Joey place. What do you think? You think Joey's was better? Eric liked Joey's better, but I like the Casa Madero. I love the aesthetics, I love the vibe, and then the food, b b bomb. That dessert, I love the dessert. Eric said he wasn't crazy about like the sauce that they put on it, but if you ask me, baby, they know what they doing up in there. Um, but yeah, so I will see you guys when we get to the CN Tower because we have to hurry up, go to the hotel room, and change real quick, baby, because we on a time crunch. I'm too sexy for this chain, too sexy for your game, too sexy for this fame, yeah, yeah. I'm too sexy for the trap, too sexy for that cap, too sexy for that trap, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, that's fine. Okay, I'm feeling too sexy to accept requests. And I'm way too sexy to go on and protect you. And she popped a Tesla, now she gonna let you. Okay, alright, that's fine. Okay, think we got too sexy for that Metro house. Diamond popped out, almost swallowed 60,000. Good morning, babes. It is currently 10 a.m. And me and Eric are up. We're packed. We're in the car. I'm actually waiting for him because he went to the bathroom. Oh, there he is. Um, we are about to head to Montreal because today is the concert. So we pretty much have a... Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck. Did you tell them that? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> tell, them. tell them what? That you almost shit on yourself. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. Yo, Eric is so dramatic. He act like he had never smelled a fart before, oh my bro. God. <laughs> it's not that bad. Fuck. <laughs> Why you didn't put the address in, man? I'm sorry. I don't know the address. You have it. I gave it to you. No, you didn't. You just showed me it on your phone. I don't have it on my phone. All right, you put it in one. Yes. Anyways, y'all, we're about to head to. And then you let it sit in here. I'm Eric, what am I supposed to do? It air it out? Yes. Y'all, I promise it did not smell that bad. Eric is just so dramatic. But, anyways, y'all, <laughs> we're headed to Montreal. So, we got a long drive ahead of us. It's about like a five hour drive. Um, and the concert starts at eight. So, we should have a couple hours to kind of chill, explore. But, from what the locals have been telling us, like Montreal is really. There's really not much to do like it is in Toronto. It's more like an older city it's an older place either, but... oh no this saying the super to the supercharge yeah all right y'all so i will see you babes once we probably get to our first stop May. hey y'all so we made it to montreal i want to show y'all this room because this room is stunning okay how do they talk in Montreal? I don't know. I think they speak French. Exactly. I can't tell y'all. When I was checking in, she was like, bonjour. Oh, for real? Okay, this is a bathroom. Like, what? Too cute. Shower. Gorgeous. Bathroom. And y'all, look at this view. 
This is the room. It's so cute. I do think the TV is in an awkward place though. But other than that, we had a nice little view of the city. Oh, that is a Ferris wheel. Cool. All right, y'all, we're starving. So we're about to go get something to eat. Do I need to bring, I need to bring my wallet, I'm sure. All right, ready? You got the room to the key, the key card? <clears throat> so we're staying at the Hyatt Centric in Montreal. Honestly, the drive wasn't too bad. It's just like when we stopped to charge, that would take quite a bit of time. So that slowed us down a bit. So we left Toronto around 11 and then made it to Montreal by what, 5.30? We did hit a little bit of traffic too, but now we're gonna go down to the hotel lobby, get us something to nibble on because we're starving. The concert starts at eight. I think I'm gonna start getting dressed around 6.30 cause we wanna be there by 7.30. So yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along. Clearly I can't take my camera to the concert, but I'll take my phone. You know, it makes them shake for y'all, okay, period. But I'm hearing rumors that 21 Savage wasn't at the Montreal concert yesterday, but he better be there today, okay? If he not there, I'm gonna be mad and Drake need to run me two more tickets because I paid for Drake and 21, okay, period. But I'll see you guys a little bit later. <laughs> hey, woman hanging on my neck. The brace of matches are set. My brother name is Tina Dollars. I bought it back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would've went corporate. She wish I would've went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprints to Quebec. Chevy, who am on back? Y'all, on who Eric don't look like a boxer? Hey, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> you so goofy. All oh, the views. You can take the hood off. <laughs> it's giving cult. You is really resorted. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, why is What if I did that the whole Go ahead, your calves gonna be, your knees, you know you got bad knees. Knee gonna be hurt. Y'all, we have this long walk from our room to the elevator. Oh Lord. Girl, he got us all over this hotel. But yeah, so I don't wanna get in the pool, but I do wanna start getting ready soon. I'm probably gonna get ready at like 6.45. It's already 6.36. So I'm literally gonna go up there, look at it, show y'all, and come back. Y'all, Eric got us outside. Cause he don't know where the hell he going. Acting like he knows. Okay, okay. okay. Record. Are you recording? I mean, hold my phone then. Yeah. I can't, it's right here. So I said, that's what he get. Rocky Balboa Eric gotta walk outside in his road because he acted like he knew where he was going and he had no freaking idea. You was just <laughs> oh wow, it's a whole potty patio. Oh, there's a vibe up here, too. Oh, you got a key card. Is it a club? Wow. Waiting for you to dive in. <laughs> in peace, in peace. May you rest, may you rest. Never ever shoot below the net. Never ever. You a rookie, you a rookie. I'm a vet, I'm a vet. That's why I got a Glock, you got a tech. Not chuckers, not chuckers. This chest, nigga chest. I flooded out my paddock with baguettes. I curved Tiffany, yeah, for Jess. Need to get myself together, I'm a mess. Straight up. Oh, okay, son. In bikini bottom, I'm with Sandy. Sandy. Oh, you should keep on drinking out of brand. Hey y'all, so I inserted clips that y'all probably saw of the concert. I didn't get a chance to show y'all my outfit or nothing. Me and Eric were rushing to the concert. For one, we had to call an Uber. Ubers took forever, they kept canceling. And then we were rushing to get there. Funny thing is, Drake got there like late as hell. Like, first of all, the concert was originally supposed to start at seven. It got pushed back to eight. His ass didn't show up till like 9.15. He was really on CP, CP, CP time, okay? Um, 
and yeah so we literally rushed there for no reason which i was super irritated by i was also irritated by the fact that 21 was not there i literally feel like i got scammed y'all i feel bamboozled like i'm grateful that he bought out j cole like cool but me personally i'm not a huge j cole fan and that's okay like everybody likes different types of music and i just feel like to replace j cole with 21 savage is like kind of weird because it's like to me two completely opposite fan bases like j cole to me is super lyrical and 21 savage is just like hood trap shit like you know what i mean like so i was super disappointed by that um i feel scammed i feel bamboozled i feel taken advantage of like i'm annoyed because we drove all this way having the expectation of seeing both artists and i feel like we got scammed the cool thing about it though like overall it was nice to see drake perform in canada because he's from canada and just canada was lit like in general montreal is cool it's not toronto we'll talk about that in the car home girl because we we still out here okay but um yeah so that was my overall concert experience i'm actually considering going again to the one in dc just to see um 21 savage like i really want to see him perform and i feel like for me personally drake did a lot of throwback songs because 21 savage wasn't there but i really love their album together so that's why i wanted to go so i'm kind of torn i don't know because i also want to go to the little baby concert and i'm like girl we can't be going to concert 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 okay so yeah i'm thinking about going to the little baby concert but i don't know but that one will definitely be local okay but overall this toronto experience like toronto canada experience has been great even though the concert was kind of like a flop and a fail i'm still happy that i got to travel like with my man we had a great time like um like just the vibes in general like we just had such a good time we had good food great experiences so like even though the concert didn't go as planned it didn't really put such a damper in it because like we did things other than the concert but drake if you ever see this video by chance i am so salty and if you want to send us two tickets to actually see 21 savage i would be highly highly grateful because i'm very very upset like imagine you drive 14 hours in a vehicle you spend money and you don't get what you pay for like that's crazy like i'm upset okay drake ain't that what you said i'm upset baby i'm upset okay period but yeah y'all i just wanted to catch y'all up let y'all know that we made it back from girl these braids itching made it back from the um concert um we're waiting on them to pull up the car the valet because eric's starving so he wants to go get food um i don't know where we're gonna go because it's limited as to what's open y'all but yeah the concert was cool as a vibe but i'm super disappointed and yeah maybe i would be more understanding if i knew why 21 wasn't there like maybe i don't deserve to know his personal business but i'm just like real irritated by it like i don't know maybe i'll sleep on it and i'll be over it but right now baby it's still very much so fresh so yeah we're waiting for them to pull up the uber and then when they do we're gonna go ahead and grab some food i'm probably not gonna really get anything i'm not really hungry um if i get something it's really just giving fat girl because i'm not like i said i'm not hungry but baby this hair she's cute the color is cute but honestly i wish i would have done like a curlier texture like this is like super wavy which was cool for the ponytail hairstyle that i had but honestly i don't really love it with the jumbo knotless it's cute but it's it could be better you know i feel like if the curls were a little bit more curled it would look better um but yeah y'all i'm tired of holding this camera my arm hurt so <laughs> i'll see you guys when we get food or tomorrow one of the two we have like such a long drive ahead of us tomorrow <laughs> i'm not looking forward to it we have an eight hour drive so at first we thought we were gonna have to drive back through toronto in order to get home but we realized that we can go literally from montreal to the u.s without doing that so yeah eight hour drive not looking forward to it but just gonna live in the moment enjoy the vibes um yeah i just realized this hat has a hole in it right here it has a hole in a around the entire hat baby i never knew that i thought it was just a hole right here no, baby. <laughs> hold on show them this this is crazy it literally has holes in the hat and that's how it's made like it's supposed to be like that. okay i'm upset mm -hmm. 
50,000 on my head. <laughs> nah, um, 21? He should have showed up. I'm mad 21. That's what I was anyway. saying. I feel like if we knew the reason he wasn't there, maybe it'd be a little bit more understanding. I'm not understanding him shit. What if it was... Because the thing is, like... It could be something he can't control, though. But even I do feel like I, we should even, be refunded. Even at the, at the Future concert, like, uh, Kodak Black ain't show up, and he was one of the main, oh, yeah, that's you know, wild. like a co, that's wild. co-headliner. How would you rate the concert out of 10? Out of 10, I'm going... Seven. Seven? Okay. Yeah. Because Cole wasn't the right fit for that. Like, I agree. Cole wasn't the right fit. Well, that's Eric's perspective. I'll see y'all later. Niggas been counting me out. I'm counting my bullets. I'm loading my clips. I'm writing down names. I'm making a list. I'm checking it twice and I'm getting them hit. The real ones are dying. The fake ones is lit. The game is off balance. I'm back on my shit. The bitly is dirty. My sneakers is dirty. But that's how I like it. You all on my...